Hello, my name is Sabrina Frau, and I'm presenting our paper towards the characterization of emotional intent during scripted scenes using in-ear movement sensors today. So let's break this down. We try to uncover changes in head movement coordination patterns between two participants of acted scenes that were due to the emotional intent of the speakers, and they either had a positive or a negative emotional valence. Where's this idea coming from? During conversations, our heads do not move in isolation, but in coordination with the conversation partners. You can see this in yourself, but also in movie scenes, for example. One thing we tend to do is not along to speakers that we agree with or want to continue talking. How did we go about this? We used the eSense earbuds to record the head movements of participants and acted conversations to bring the study closer to real life while still being able to manipulate the surroundings and, for example, play scenes over and over again. And the emotional intentions were influenced by a theatre technique called actioning, in which we provided the participants with a transitive verb that guides the acting. For positive-positive trials, we provided them, for example, with words like carers and cherish, while in negative-negative trials, we provided them with words like threaten and block. Our results found that the overall movement energy is higher for positive and positive trials, and an average wavelet coherence analysis showed that the positive positive trials were also more synchronous with some significant spots along the timeline. What, where do we want to go from here? First of all, this study is part of a master thesis that is currently worked on and explores the topic in more depth. And then we want to repeat the study with actual actors and actresses, which couldn't be done this time around due to COVID-19. And one day we hope to invent a more objective way to quantify theatre performance, which could be interesting for acting schools, and maybe even extract actual emotions from movement data. Here's a summary you can screenshot. I hope you nodded along to this talk out of interest and agreement and have a more in-depth look into the paper later on. Thank you for your attention.